Today I decided to revisit an old project. It's a blue resin box that I was working on. Two new stickers. The first from Cammy's Garage. Cammy is a very talented turner. He reminds me, he does a lot of uh, Malcolm Tibbetts type of segmented stuff, but he makes a lot of artwork and, and his animal carvings are just phenomenal. So Cam, I'm gonna put you right here, dude. So, go check Cam out. Cammy's Garage, he's a great dude. And my next sticker is from Poppy's Woodshed, Mervin Shoemaker, thanks Mervin. I'll get both you guys' stickers out to you as soon as I can. Mervin, I'm gonna put you right up here. I'm not sure Mervin has a YouTube channel. If I don't, his links will be in the description below. If, if, if I don't, if he doesn't, the description will be in the, I mean, the links will be in the description below. If he does, I'll put it up here. So thanks again, guys. I'll get your stickers on the way to you. Okay, as you can see here, I've got this sitting on a jam chuck. It's not real tight, but it doesn't have to be. I've, anyway, I've got this sitting on a jam chuck and I have sanded all of this finish off. And that's left behind all of these voids. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill each of these and let them dry. I'm going to fill them with thin CA and I'll turn it, fill them with thin CA, turn it, fill them with thin CA until it's all done. Then I'm going to re-sand it, uh, work on the bottom. And when that's done, I will refinish this piece on the outside. And when I get this fit refinished, the inside I'm just going to leave like it is. When I get this finished, when I get the outside like I like it so that it looks good, I'll finish the lid. Let me start applying CA to this and we'll come back. I gotta sand it till all of the shiny spots are down. I'm getting there. So apparently we keep playing this game until I don't have any more of those. See, they were all full. Now I sanded it and there's more. Not as many more. And I'll come back. Okay, let's see what we can do. I got a couple of low spots and a couple of new holes to fill, but slowly but surely I'm getting there. Okay, for the time being, I'm going to take this off the lathe. Okay, let's see how many we got rid of and how many we still got. Now, I will take the jam chuck off and we'll clean this bottom up. How are you gonna do that if you take the jam chuck off? Well, I'm gonna chuck it in here. Okay, I'm not gonna do the bottom yet because all oh, the super glue's not there. I'm gonna smooth the bottom of this up and then I'll burn my logo in the bottom and sand it up a little bit. And then this will be done and we can do the lid. Done except for spraying the finish on it, of course.
Okay, except for the final finish, this is done. As long as I'm happy with the finish when I get it on there. Uh, yeah, it's got some voids and some air bubbles, but it's just the nature of this resin if you don't put it under pressure. So there's nothing else I can, there's not really anything else I can do about that. Just shoot it with lacquer, put some lipstick on this pig, and uh, call it done. Now, to do the lid, this fits on here fairly well, so I need to shape this. So I'm going to chuck it from here and then start working on the shape. What shape? This is what I'm going to make, the, this one, right here. Because this is the shape of that piece, more or less. I'll get this chucked up and we'll see what we can do. All right, what I'm going to do is I want to define this that's down over the list. So I'm going to hollow the inside of this out just a little. So I'm going to define my edge. I may take a little more of this out after I do the shape. Okay, I'm going to sand this up. Warm the hot glue gun up, I'll be back. Let's hot glue this on. Just sit up and get hard for a few minutes. I'll be back. Okay, let's see what damage we can do. I'm going to keep this up for the moment. go do some filling. Okay, time to sand this up and see what we can do. I got it thin. Man, did I get it thin. Okay, let me get this cleaned up and get this hot glue over here and I'll come back.
What I could try is mix up a little bit of resin and like Kim Tippin does, dilute it with acetone and, and paint a, an evening layer of, of resin on this to even this out. I think I'm going to try that and we'll see what happens. Well, here it is finally. That blue resin and scrap mesquite. You can still see the curl. And the lid lines up nicely. All of the resin and the wood. And the lid don't fall off. Got my weak logo burned in the bottom. I could have burned it a little deeper, but that's okay. Uh, it fought me, as you saw in the first video. Holes and whatnot everywhere. There's still pinholes in it that, that are not filled, but, and, and that's okay. There's nothing I can do about that. That's just the way it is. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you sticking with me through all these little trials that we have. Don't forget, if you want to try Axe Abrasive Paste, go to this website, enter the code BILLY10. Uh, check out my other sponsor, Harneo Media, harneomedia.com, for all your web needs, uh, if you need websites and that kind of stuff. If you want to help support the Messy Studio in any way, Amazon affiliate link is below. My website, you can buy swag, shirts, t-shirts, uh, t you can buy swag, caps, t-shirts, coffee mugs, some of the things I've turned. Uh, this box and a number of the others are out there. All of the proceeds, again, go to help keeping the Messy Studio running and help me do videos like this uh, because I buy all my resin, I buy all my finished products, I buy all my sandpaper, I, except for the oak that I cut down, I buy all my wood. So all of that helps us continue what we're doing here. And I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Y'all stay safe. This thing isn't over yet. Uh, we will get through it. It's just another one of those things. Until then, God bless. Y'all come back.